Hi Virgo and welcome to your December tarot reading. I'm going to lay out the Celtic cross with my magic soul tarot for you today. This is a reading if your sun, moon, rising and or Venus sign is in Virgo. Welcome also to all the cross watchers. So let's start with your reading. What are the energies for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in December? What are the energies for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in December? And oh wow, the Ten of Swords. And in combination with, with, with the Two of Cups. Holy, what is happening here? Five of Swords. Oh my God, and Death Card the nine of pentacles the two of pentacles the nine of wands the wheel of fortune ah uh, of course the lovers in this position and the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we have the princess of swords news is coming in all right new information so i feel like your december is going to be filled with new information with news coming in with communication maybe even with new ways of communicating um you're going to find out more about a situation in this month um for sure the thing is i feel like we have even though this is not a relationship reading I do feel like we see a relationship reading. So it's not intended as this, but if uh, the cards are coming out like that, that's just what it is. There's a radical ending. There's some sort of ending, some sort of maybe end of a difficult phase. And I can see this with everything here. Ending, ending, and with a five of swords, I can see that you're thinking about some sort of conflict you have with another person. While in the past, it kind of like looked all stable. It looked all like, okay, um... I mean, the, the nine of pentacles is the energy of the hard work paying off and enjoying life. So maybe just quite recently you enjoyed your life, something that you have worked for for quite a long time or that you have um, something you have been patient for and uh, pa you have been patient uh, with. So in some shape or form, there is a success energy in the recent past, something that you have achieved. It might be a sense of independence that is helping you now. Some sort of independence might have helped you, um, might have happened in the past. This can also already refer to you being single, enjoying more or less life on your own. Now, we do see a big change in your environment, maybe with another person. And I do feel like there's literally some sort of ending here with a relationship. The two of cups is in a challenge position. That tells me um, there is disagreements, fights, arguments connected to a relationship. There is disharmony. Maybe your goals have changed. You're not looking into the same direction anymore or feelings have changed. So really really difficult and especially with seeing the lovers here i do feel like you hope a for a reunion of this um, relationship or maybe you hope for a relationship that is really nurturing you because what i can see here with a five of swords um the five of swords talk about conflicts and fights and maybe maybe a person who has not your best interest at heart there might be somebody who wants to win at all costs, who wants to be right at all costs. And obviously this is something where you can't find compromises because that person in itself, uh, herself or himself, is not really able to compromise here. Because again, this person wants to be right. It's like, no, it's my way. This is, um, this is true and uh, I'm in my right to do this. And obviously... As you can imagine, there is not really a coming together. And I feel like in a relationship, the closeness, the coming together, the shared vision is missing because somebody might be very selfish here. Sometimes, I want to say that because sometimes it's important that we start to look at ourselves and become a little bit more selfish and do things that are good for us. But with this card, you have a person who 
just doesn't care about other people, just doesn't care. Um, so maybe the person is not very empathic towards you, um, very selfish from the r range, from the um, shades of grey basically that we have, of a very selfish person to a narcissist. There's everything that is opening up with this card. So maybe you're dealing with somebody like that and you recognize, oh yeah, yeah, this is that person. And um, the nine of pentacles, again, it could even, it could either mean that you uh, in the pa recent past already have been alone and have been single or worked on your independence here. Um, or that this situation maybe in the recent past just seemed to work out. Like, yeah, we have worked hard for that and the stability and suddenly this comes in. And I also see something is changing on an emotional level. Your emotions are changing. You're in the process of letting go. You're in the process of ending something here. And that's interesting because your energy is the nine of wands. Now, you are tired, you're exhausted, you just want to withdraw, maybe draw a line onto something and take time for yourself to recover, to get back into your energy. So, um, while with this energy you have learned a lot, you have gained so much experiences and you have worked through so much, a lot of good things and a lot of success moments, but also a lot of struggle here, mm, which ended um, which leads you in December being a little bit like the wounded warrior and I feel like there's something that has deeply hurt you and there's some sort of wound that hasn't healed yet and that is connected to this relationship. Now the ten of swords talks about okay this is an ending this is an ending where there is no turning back you feel probably even this card would say wow, you have gone through a big fight. Um, maybe not necessarily um, like a literal fight. Um, maybe there have been some arguments. I absolutely see arguments and disagreements here in that relationship. Um, but with the Ten of Swords, it feels like you... It might even feel like you, like you feel being stabbed in the back. Like you didn't see this coming, like maybe you had your hopes up high for this situation, especially since we have the Nine of Pentacles here, which could refer to the situation appearing quite stable in the recent past. Now, like I said, um, all of that is really leading to the energy of ending, of closure. There's a big, big change, a big transformation happening on an emotional side of you. It also feels like a very intense process you're going through because basically the death card is the death and rebirth, is the phoenix rising from the ashes and that's at the moment what's happening for you. But I feel like you are in the process of this burning away of the old so that you eventually can rise like the phoenix and so we have that um, here uh, or with the energy of death here. For some of you this could relate to you dealing with a Scorpio so in your heart so that could literally be somebody who has placements in Scorpio. Um, you could also be dealing with quite an intense person especially with the uh, five of swords that could come across as quite intense. This is also quite intense. Sometimes the two of cups is referred to as a soulmate energy. You could probably say that in a way about the lovers as well. So I feel like this situation feels really intense with that person. Um, when I see the Five of Swords, it's always an energy to be very, very careful and to reconsider your choices. Because when you have somebody who is not able to, um, not able to compromise or anything, then um, obviously you're not going to find solution and also this person might not be open to um, see things from your perspective or to change um, and maybe this is what you realize now which is why you maybe are ending the situation yourself because you are changing here emotionally but I can see with the two of um, with the two of 
pentacles that it's going to be a little bit of an emotional up and down time maybe this is an on off relationship where you it was on and it looked really good and suddenly this comes up again and it's this ending and you're just like what what's this on and off thing is this person just using me for whenever the person wants to be close to somebody and then um, basically leaves again or creates drama it could be drama creating here so I can see how is this situation continuing there is this emotional up and down uh, maybe an on and off and high a low this could just refer to you personally that if that is now finally over and done with that you work through the emotions of, of up and down but also relationship wise this could mean um, maybe there is a an up period again there might be some sort of decision where it's just like this endless up and down and up and down and now it's the pendulum is going to the other direction again so that could happen here as well if you say no this is over and done with then i see this not as the up and down uh, on and off connected to the relationship i more see it um, in terms of you feeling up and down and you feeling um, a bit out of balance here which again we can see with the nine of wands because the nine of wands is the energy of uh feeling feeling tired drained exhausted just wanting to have time for yourself so i can see that here as well it might be that the other person changed. Uh, the other person might be very changeable. Um, obviously, your environment connected to what happened could have changed. But especially when I am in a relationship reading, this uh, position can indicate the other person. So the other person might be quite changeable in a way, hoping for a reunion, hoping for a harmonious relationship maybe in this situation or if you say no this is now finally done I'm really done with that then obviously your hope is to uh, make a good choice for yourself out of self-love and to manifest a uh, proper relationship a stable harmonious relationship maybe a little bit later now what I can see here with the king of pentacles is that there's some sort of sense of stability coming back if this isn't on and off, this could literally mean, okay, it's on again. It's on and suddenly it's all stable again. You talk about long-term plans, long-term goals. Suddenly is, everything is very reasonable. And that could mean basically that if you are in an on and off and you have already experienced the on and off in that situation. Because this card and this card is pretty much similar in that sense of independence, um, success stability if this is not connected to the on and off and now the situation being on again um, obviously there could be another person who's now who's very stable secure who wants a, um, a traditional approach to a relationship but this could also be some sort of advisor so somebody might give you some sort of advice when it comes to business finances home family or your body or in general of how to create more stability in your life so if this is not an advisor giving you strategies and solutions to create more stability in one of those areas in life then this could be you this could be you having learned now uh, having learned through experiences through ups and downs that we can still see here of how to really create stability and what it needs for you um, to achieve your long-term goals and plans so you could have a very serious tone a very down to earth a very pragmatic tone saying like no no no, i don't have time for games i don't have time for bullshit i'm just i just am focusing now on um making this um area of life stable and secure and i'm going to take responsibility now and work and make good choices for that area of life in order to um, gain back a sense of stability wow what a intense reading please leave me a comment and describe that situation i'm super interested how this is manifesting if it is an on off or if you say no it's an off now um, so thank you so much for watching for liking subscribing and like i said i would be super interested in your feedback connected to this um, situation and i'm looking forward to see you guys next time Thank you.